Hello, welcome to our screencast number four, which is presented to you by Veneering. Recently, I have been asked by some customers if we could also make a screencast of Dynamic Web Forms, the look and feel, but also how to upload Dynamic Web Forms into the SAP system and how to link this with the SRM UI 5 system. So let's get started. I'm choosing first the shop functionality. And now SRM UI 5 is opening. So this is the Amazon like look and feel in SAP. Here I can start searching for some web forms. So we will start searching for catering. And this is the first web form. I cannot add this web form to the cart directly. I first have to choose here, go to catalog, which will open the form. The web form is opening in overlay mode, which means not in a separate browser window. We have here a veneering enhancement and this form is opening in an overlay mode. I cannot click in the background. Now I will have to specify all fields, which are mandatory here. I'm deciding for a catering for next Monday. And I will now have to choose the building to which building I'm expecting this to be delivered. And uh, actually, if I choose this building, there is no room number selection. If I choose the techno park, you see right now, here I can also choose and go for a room number. Now in next step, I cannot continue. I still have to uh, specify here the number of attendees, it's three or two. You also see that the number of fields will only display according to the selection. We don't want to overload the user now with 50 different fields, but we want to minimize the, the amount of fields to what is really necessary. So right now, let me get some numbers entered. And the same for Excel people, you will see if I confirm without entering mandatory input fields, I have error messages. I can just click it. The cursor is added to that field. And now I can choose also here to select external attendees. Again, the fields pop up and I can choose now other two names and that's it. And I confirm and by confirming it. This web form gets transferred to the SRM UI5 shopping basket. Right now, also one of the veneering enhancements is that you will see the image of the web form. This is not the SAP standard, there is no image. And what is a really nice feature is I can open this web form and I can start editing this web form data. So as you can see, this was the selection I have done at the beginning. And now I can go here for one more field. So let's click three and I can add one more user and confirm this form again and get this one closed. So this web form, when you reopen again, you'll see it is buffered and stored and this information is not lost. And this web form document will be stored in SAP forever and it will be linked together with the shopping cart. So this information does not get lost. And uh, many of our customers are reusing this information from the web form later so they can use their own enhancements, bodies, etc., to get the data back from the web form to the purchase order, etc. Um, one more, which is the laptop. So this is now more like a product configurator. We go to purchase a laptop and you see the structure of the web form is now quite different. I can choose here the quantity. I can choose also optional parameters like memory and some surcharge might apply if I'm selecting some of the options. So you see here, this is the base price. And here on the bottom, I can start adding additional items by choosing a hard disk. Also price might apply to that hard disk, it's 148. And for this hard disk, it's 99. So there is surcharge for items. I can confirm now this one and this laptop will get transferred. And you will see that the price of this laptop, which is in the basket, it will now calculate according to this um, selection that I have done on, on this laptop. Next example is a bit more complex, but it will show you the capabilities we have um, in the web form. So I have selected IT services. And this is now one example which comes from Telecom. So they are using uh, a hierarchy of services or of web forms to 
yeah, explain an, an IT service demand. So let's do IT service computers installation. And I have to specify for whom this is ordered, uh, who is requesting. And now I can start adding subtasks. So one subtask can be computer installation. And I can click now here to the project. And I can add now another subtask, which is saying computer testing. What you see on the left side is that the hierarchy is starting to build. So I can switch here from one item to another one. I can go to the header information to this one and uh, computer testing. Finally, I can say computer installation. I can add no recipients. So who will get this computer? It's again our user Andrew. He will get one computer. You will see he's coming on the left list. And I can start adding another one, which will be Maria. And right now you see there are two users and this was added now. So I can get this transferred. And you will see that it's only one IT service um, with some hierarchy information behind it. So if I reopen this again and you can yeah, check that all the information is still inside. Our last example is another example from Rehau. And you will see this is a billing process, which is also live with another customer. So I could ask here for service cleaning. And this is used for, for the bidding process. So you can have several information that you are choosing here. Um, we can uh, use here also additional upload of attachments on this web form. So I can go and choose a file. I'm choosing just anyone, calling it specification. Get this uploaded. So the web form will be now linked with this uh, specification, which will be also transferred to the shopping cart. Now I can also specify here uh, categories. So it means that dynamic web forms is connected with the entire SAP dictionary. And um, we can get access to any search help and any data which is on SAP without need to do modifications and developments. So this is just pure configuration to say we have here a table. And this table is even linked with the dictionary and uh, with uh, search helps behind it. So search help, I can have my personal value list. I can have my standard search list. I can go here and add the service. And you can see now I have my categories together with this web form. Then this form also consists of several data sheets. So it's not only one web form, but it's linked also with a quality data sheet. So if I click here, I can also do further settings. I can add items position. So cleaning service, let's say cleaning building A is one thing. And now I can add another position, which is cleaning building B. And you will see right now, if I click here on the shopping cart preview. So in the web form, we also have shopping cart preview and it will show me now these two items. I can switch back to header data. I can switch back here to this item data. And finally I'm saying, okay, this is now all completed. I confirm and now two items get transferred to the shopping cart. Okay, as promised at the beginning of the screencast, let's now go to the upload of web forms to show you how the web forms are going to the system. We open the Excel and this Excel can be used to define a web form and to load it into SAP. And this Excel actually exists of different sections. So the one section is here the header parameters, uh, which are defining the namespace in which we are going to build the web form. So this we call this namespace now demo. We know we are creating it in the language English and uh, vendor is also namespace. Then we give this template a name. So let's try to upload a car fleet and to define attributes. So for this Carfleet template, we are now in the next section, which is this one here. We are defining here the attributes which are becoming available. 
um, attributes. First, we need the attribute ID. Then we have a sorting index. So with the sorting index, we know how these fields are sorted on the screen, on the web form. We have a screen group, which is the allocation of attributes on the, in, in specific screen sections. Then we have the attribute type. There are different attribute types that you can use. I think right now we have maybe more than uh, 20, 30 attributes that you can select for the user interface. You have the label that you are deciding here for the attribute on the web form. Then you can say, is that attribute visible? Is it read only? Is it mandatory? Finally, you define what is important for SAP DOCI mapping. So you have to say, okay, this attribute is going to be mapped to the description, to the material number, to the vendor, and all remaining items you will just do mapping to the long text. So this information will be transferred into the purchase order that is sent across to the supplier. Now the next section here is used to describe the web forms itself. So here you can design one or many web forms which will be created as web form templates. And these web forms will use this template, which is described here above with these attributes. So here we are creating one web form, which is called car config. Um, here, the most important fields will be for you to specify now a default description, uh, piece, etc. So actually here we copy the labels, which are here on the top. They can be also listed now here in this sequence, and you can specify the values for each attribute so you can have a default value for description for order unit order unit can have on the oci transfer a different oci parameter which you can specify here currency etc the next section i think this is quite interesting to build a kind of web configurate logic so if we are assuming that there are attributes that we have defined in the template on the top for manufacturer of the car for the model as you can see here we can specify now that for the manufacturer Audi, there are different models available. So these are different attributes. The first drop down, which was defined on the top is manufacturer. The second drop down is called model. Finally, the model itself is still linked with the material number. And yeah, this is how you can, you can structure this. And you will see then after uploading this, how this works on the system. We choose here now um, the uploading tool which is on subnet weaver for dynamic web forms. It's quite easy. The service will open here. We can choose right now this template that we have specified for the car fleet and we get this one uploaded. Now, how does it look in SAP? First of all, let's prove that this web form really has been loaded to SAP. And uh, this is now something that we can see here. So this is the IMG, the customizing of dynamic web forms and we can open it here. We can go and maintain the web forms. Let me search now for this web form that we have just created. So it was our demo form. And here you can see this web form was uploaded. It's our car config. And here I have the attributes that I've loaded with the Excel. So all the complex hierarchy was now loaded with this Excel. So this is just to prove to you that this data finally was loaded into SAP and by pressing the preview button. Here we can see that this is exactly the web form we have uploaded. I can choose for the car, for the model, car dealer, etc. So all this information is coming from this Excel. We can compare this Excel now. Let's move it here. And as you can see, this attribute definition with the labels, first label was description, manufacturer, model, submaterial. So it's all this one here, this car order demo, we have given the name car order demo. That's why it's also seen here, the model AF5 I've selected. And depending on Audi, there are also some proposals here for car dealer. If I go for BMW, then we get this BMW shown here. Yeah, so it's working like a web configurator. Now, in next step, we have to take care that somehow this catalog item also will get into this SRM UI5 application. And for this purpose, we have another file with catalog data. Let's open this one. And here you see this is our catalog definition file that can be maintained in Excel. And here we have a car fleet simple 
item. So these are all catalog fields that are specifying the catalog item. And somewhere in this catalog item, I have to specify right now what is the web form that we are connecting. So this catalog item will be connected now to this web form. This web form is defined by these three attributes, demo, veneer, and car config. So this was actually coming from the other Excel field, the definition of the web form. Okay, so now we get our catalog file loaded. We go here, we start our catalog cloud services, which is operated by veneering. And this is actually right now the interface and the content management system for all the catalogs that are becoming available in SRM UI 5, where you can maintain catalog views, etc., and all the information. And right now here on the left catalog list, I will choose my veneering web form. So this is my catalog and I will try to upload here a new file. You see, this is the history of former uploads and now we get a new one uploaded. So I scroll here to the bottom and I can choose right now this Excel with the web forms with a drag and drop. And now I will say this is an Excel that I'm uploading. Here, I'm just choosing upload file. And now this file gets uploaded and this catalog is classified for auto validation and auto approval. So it will take now only a few seconds and uh, then this catalog will be activated. So let's press refresh. Right now we see the validation has started with warnings. And now by pressing another refresh, I assume that this catalog is now activated. So here we go. This is the catalog file. It's now active. And now I can search for this calf lead item in SRM UI 5 and I can open it from SRM UI 5. So let's get back. Let's open shop. Okay, so now we are in SRM UI 5 and I will search for my calf lead simple. It was not the standard calf lead process, but the simple one. Here I got this item. I open it and as you can see, again, this web form has opened and that's the trick with just one Excel file web form definition and the catalog file I need anyway, I can very easily within few minutes, we can create and activate new web forms in the system. Okay. So thank you for watching this uh, screencast number four. I hope I could give you some valuable information. Yeah, and I hope you will join next time again. Thank you.